Hi guys, Ryu here from Blender Bros and in this video we're gonna be talking about barbecuing some geo and importance of time. Let's go. Now if you're interested in learning a bit more about topology in depth, we actually went ahead and updated our topology guide, Blender Bros topology guide and created topology guide 2.0. You can get it for free on our website and the link is in the video description. Enjoy. So this is what I call an evolved cube. Now evolved cube is a cube that had a few accidents happen to it in the form of bullions. Now, if I wanted to bevel this evolved cube, I would be met with a bit of resistance in the form of a total fucking mess. So you can see here that the bevel falls apart. And the reason for that is because the you know topology isn't optimized for bevels. And also we have different density of topology on different elements. And that's a problem. You need to ask yourself a question. What's the purpose of your model? If the purpose of your model is just art station and, you know, Facebook and whatnot, then why the hell would you want to spend time or waste time on fixing something that doesn't have to be fixed? The same goes to usage of add-ons, guys. You know, I see all these stupid remarks on YouTube and whatever saying, oh, it's a add-on tutorial. Oh, we don't have add-ons. Oh, this and that's it. If you understand the value of time, okay, that day has 24 hours and you cannot buy more time, regardless how much money you have, you will understand how valuable the time really is, okay? If you, for example, one of these people, one of these idiots who stand in a queue for 12 hours to save $5, then you don't really understand the value of time or you have a very deformed and sort of twisted um, the idea of value of time. The same goes to add-on workflow, guys. You know, add-ons save a lot of time. This is why Jerry, you know, the master Zion from HardOps is so obsessed with um, optimizing the keystrokes so minimizing the keystrokes and creating one click operations that actually normally in blender require you to perform several actions because it all adds up and when you are able to save hours of time on each model that actually accumulates to days or maybe even weeks throughout the uh, throughout the year which can be spent on some more productive things like for example studying or resting okay so the moment you understand the value of time, that's when you're actually going to start thinking like you were supposed to be thinking, all right? This has nothing to do with selling add-ons because I don't give a shit if you buy them or not. It's your fucking thing. But I'm telling you that if you're not using the tools for the job, you are doing it wrong. So now let's talk about the tools. You could technically um, use a bevel shader for this. So you could go here to shader uh, editor and you could just you know run a bevel here so let's go here to bevel and you know plug it in right now this is a very good solution there's only one problem with it and the problem is that it will run bevel um you know of the same size on every single edge now if that's what you want that's great but usually it's not something you want especially on a complicated geo like this you want to have different sizes of bevels because that's what adds to the you know that's add this flair to your design so sizes of bevels and chamfers are very important now you could do this with nodes I know that, but then again, you would need to fiddle with notes and it takes time. And this is something we want to save. Now that's where the new add-on comes in. Okay. And the add-on was created by the same guys who came up with the Zen UV. And if you know our courses, our game asset courses, we've been using this add-on extensively in these courses because it's bloody fantastic for creating game assets, unwrapping and all this bullshit. So these guys came up with a new add-on called Zen Barbecue, and Zen Barbecue allows you to add different sizes of procedural bevels with ease to your geometry. And let me show you how it works. So grab the add-on. Uh, it's either on Blender Market on Gumroad. You get the links in the video description. Download it, you know, install it like any other add-on, and then press N for N panel and go to Zen Barbecue. And here we are. So now, first of all, you got presets of different sizes of bevels. You can choose between millimeters, centimeters, meters if you're crazy, and inches if you're one of the unfortunate ones. So Let's say we click on this object and we're going to click on, let's say, three centimeter bevel and boom, two things happen. OK, Zen Barbecue will add this to your model and also change the color and the mat 
of your model. Now, this is just a preview. This mod basically allows you to see a bit better the bevels, and I agree, it really um, helps you to see them very clearly. Now, see, the problem here with this bevel is that we have a really nice uh, kind of a fuzzy bevel here on these connections and it looks really nice but here when when the details are quite small it falls apart and it looks like a blob you know so what we need to do is we need to select these pieces here and we need to isolate them and we're going to run a different bevel through it so let's just uh, um, select these and run Control plus and i'm going to select all the edges except the one here on the bottom because i want this one on the bottom to be supple as well and I'm going to change it here to millimeters and go with, let's say, five mils, okay? And you can see that two things happen, okay? The bevel changed to a smaller one because these edges now run a smaller bevel, not this one. And the color change, and the color corresponds with the color here um, that marks the size of the bevel. So here what I can do is go to edit mode and I'll text this with a mesh machine and copy this, um, you know, this... Uh, uh, edge marking to um, all sides and now I have a different bevel size on these um, edges. Now you don't really have to use this menu, you can use a pie menu, uh, you can use shift control x and you just have to select an edge to do that. So let's say we're going to select this edge here and this edge and maybe uh, maybe these two edges, okay? And we're going to go to shift control x and now you can choose uh, different sizes of bevel. So let's say we're gonna go here with seven millimeter bevel, okay? And you can see the color is also different and we can copy this to the other side. Now when you're in edit mode, what you can do is press shift control F to toggle on and off the preview of Zen Barbecue and switch back to the, you know, blender edge marking. This is uh, basically uh, sh showing you all the um, sharp edges and shift, and again, shift control F to switch back. And if you forget the mapping or you want to change the mapping you can go to key map and change them in here no problem okay so now this is basically all you need to know about this add-on then you have also here the render preview you can click it on and off uh, and then you got different types of quality of previews depending on your hardware now if you wanted to remove this mod and you're ready for rendering you can just simply click on repair mods which will remove this node disconnect the node um, and you'll see your original material and if you want to go back to edit mode with Zen Barbecue, you just click on render preview and you're back into this mod preview. And then global cleanup, you clean everything. So basically reset the whole scene to zero. Now, this is a fantastic add-on because it looks kind of like it was created with sub modeling, which would take you a shit ton of time. So I highly recommend it if you're doing some uh, quick renders and you just can't be bothered with cleaning topology and again, you value the you know importance of time then this is definitely for you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one